Welcome to our lecture online and here's our next example of how to find the volume of something uh, where we take like an area defined by some equations right here. We have y equals the square root of x minus 2 and x equals 5. x equals 5 is this line right there. So let's see, that's 3, 4, 5. And here's the equation y equals the square root of x minus 2. And if we then rotate that about the x-axis, we get something like this that would then have a volume to it. So it's kind of like a bowl shape or, or parabolic shape object facing this way, positive x direction. We're trying to find the volume of that. How do we do that? Well, in this case, again, we're going to take a slice of that and call it a small little dv. So here's my slice, like that. And if I take that and look at it on the side, it kind of looks like this. Right, so. There we go. And the thickness of the slice, the little width of the slice, that would be a small little dx. So there, that's my small little dx. Uh, that's the center of the slice. I have a radius like this. This would be my, my radius. So my radius would be this distance right there. That's my radius. And what, what would my radius be equal to? Well, starting from the x-axis up to this point right there, this would be the same as the height. I could call it a y. And the height would be defined by this function right there. So I'm going to call this uh, y1, y1. And so that way I keep track of what I'm dealing with here. So the radius of this little disk called r is equal to the height defined or the y defined by this function right here as a function of x. So for this particular value for x, it'll be this high right there. And so the small volume dv can be defined as the area of this disk, which is pi r squared times the thickness, which is dx. And of course, since r squared, since r is equal to y1, that would be equal to pi times y1 squared dx. And then coming up here, if y1 is equal to this, then y1 squared, y1 squared would be equal to this square, which would be x minus 2. With other words, I can replace y1 squared by x minus 2. And my small little volume element, dv, is equal to pi times x minus 2 times dx. And if I then integrate that, sum up all the little slices, which is integrating it from this limit to that limit, from x equals 2 to x equals 5, I can find the volume of that. So my volume is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to, oh, not from 0, because I started, I said 0, actually I meant 2. 0 is over here. This is 2, so from 2 to 5. Uh, of all my dv's, and so that would be the integral from 2 to 5, and dv is equal to pi times x minus 2 times dx, and of course since pi is a constant, I can move that outside the integral sign, so this is equal to pi times the integral from 2 to 5 of x minus 2 dx, and I'm ready to integrate. That's an easy integral, of course, so the integral of x would be x squared over 2, Oop, and I can't forget my pi, my pi is still there, so that's pi times x squared over 2 minus 2x. That would be the integral of x minus 2. And then the limits, of course, are from 2 to 5. So when I plug in my upper limits, I get pi times. Plug in the upper limit, I get 5 squared over 2, which is 25. Or I might as well just do the substitution first. So you can see how that works. So 5 squared over 2 minus 2 times 5. So that's when I plug in the upper limit, and I subtract from that when I plug in the lower limit. So let me put some parentheses around that. So minus, when I plug in the lower limit, I put a 2 in there. That would be 2 squared over 2, and that would be minus 2 times 2. So this is what I get when I plug in the upper limit, and this is what I get when I plug in the lower limit. So now I need to simplify. So let me come over here, and so we get pi times... 25 divided by 2 minus 2 times 5, which is 10. And I have minus 4 over 2, which is 2, so minus 2. And a minus times a minus makes that a plus, plus 4. So this is equal to pi times, I get minus 10, minus 2 is minus 12, plus 4 is minus 8, so I get 25 over 2 minus 8. Of course, 25 over 2 is 12 and a half, so this is equal to pi times 12.5 minus 8, which is equal to 4.5 pi. And that would be the volume 
of that object created when we take this piece right here, which is defined, defined by y equals the square root of x minus 2, and then at the end, x equals 5. Take this and rotate it around, and then take a slice of it. Here's my little slice. I find my dv in terms of y. Then I replace y by what y is equal to, which is square root of x minus 2, and then I go ahead and integrate. And that's how we do that.